I just started working in this hospital and I want to work with you. You mean you're actually my colleague? Exactly. Damn it. Richard, is everything okay in here? What happened? Oh, nothing. My computer crashed. I might rather go on the next plane to Edmonton. Well, too bad. You're staying with us and that's that. Crap, I only came to this hospital to talk to you because I love you. I want to know how much I love you and I've never had a boyfriend ever since I was born and I'm asking you that. After you finished working at the hospital for the day, we want to have a date at a bar tonight. Are you with me? Okay, seriously? What do you mean we have to go out on a date tonight? What? I only said it. I want to have a date with you because I love you and we could spend our time together. Yeah, but are you sure if this is a good idea that we are going to have a date tonight? I mean, what would everybody say about our relationship? Well, I don't know, but let me tell you that our date is going to be brilliant. So? Do you want to have a date with me or what? Oh, yes. Of course I would. But let me finish working first so we could have a date tonight. In that case, I have to go. I'll meet you tonight. Bye. All right, I think the computer has been fixed. Wow, you did a well done fixing the computer, though we are still not sure how it crashed in the first place. Oh well, I guess arranged solved this problem after all. But where's Richard? He is probably busy doing his job with his colleague, Richard Grunewald. Then tell Richard Donnelly to get here so he could find out that you fixed one of our computers in the workroom. Oh, he's here. Hey guys. What happened again? Oh, nothing much. I just fixed a computer and it works again. That's good. But how am I supposed to finish writing the document now? Richard, calm down. I guess you have to start all over again and, well, that's it. That explains it then. So Marsline, what have you been up to today? Not much. Finn is still at work at the police department and I'm still working at the waterfall too. Jake is also busy working as well and, well, nothing else. What about you? How are you guys doing? About the same as usual. We are also busy working today, though we had a little problem. And what was the problem? Well, one of our customers wanted to eat some steak, but his order wasn't received for a few minutes and he had to wait in the backyard until his order has been received. Wow, I see you guys had a problem receiving the order for one of your customers today. But what was the cause of the issue? Well, we are not sure, but we've managed to sort things out. Exactly. Hopefully such an issue like this will not happen again because, if that's so, this would cause another major problem in my cafe. Totally. So what can we get for you today? Do you want to eat something? Yes, of course. I want to eat some raw pork chop please. Hopefully my order won't take that long. No it won't. Don't worry. So, what do you think? Not bad. At least this house looks a lot better than the house I used to live in. You mean the house where the ex-mayor of Castle Bush used to live in? Exactly. I hope the furniture fits well in my house so I can either watch TV or sleep every night. I'm pretty sure the furniture will fit well enough. But at least it was a good decision that you can get to live in Animals Lane. Yeah, but... Dennis? Yeah? When will Randy come home? Look, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure Andy will be released very soon. Doctors also said that Randy is recovering and he will be released. Thank God. We worried all about Randy for a long time. Exactly. We can't wait to see Randy again and when he returns home, we have to tell Calvin and his friends about Randy. Absolutely. Hi guys. What's up? Just fine. We have just found a house where Paul can live, and it is bigger than the previous house where he lived. Not to mention, this size of the house is the same as my house. Totally. But my house would look even cooler if it has furniture. Exactly. 
I hope your house will look colorful just like my house, so it would look even cooler. Yeah, 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 absolutely. All right, guys, let's go get the furniture and then paint the house. Sure thing. Actually, my friends and I are too busy painting the roof of the bedroom in my house right now, so I can't join in your house's refurbishment right now. But good luck painting the house though. Anyway, bye. Oh well I guess we will be painting the house by ourselves since Ryder is too busy. Yeah. Here you go guys, here is the mutton. Enjoy. Thanks. This is a nice place. There is a ton of good foods we can eat here. Yeah. The mutton doesn't taste too bad though, it's tasty, and it's pretty good. Alright so. Why did we came to this place again? Isn't that obvious? We only came to this place just to have a date. Exactly. And I have to admit that, you look pretty. Like seriously, you're the most gorgeous woman I have ever met. No, thanks. I know you would love me and you are actually getting used to this date. Totally. Say, wanna have some fun in your house after the date? Sure. We can relax in my parents' bedroom so hopefully they won't find out about what we're doing when they return home from work. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure your parents won't catch us sleeping in the bedroom because, if they do, we would be in a whole lot of trouble. Alright, let's finish eating the muttons, and then we can go to your house. Okay. Whoa! How did Ryder get up there? We were just busy painting the roof in the bedroom. This is exactly what we've promised, and we're getting the job done. Totally! We've always wanted to give our house a change, and we're happy that our house will look colorful and amazing. Exactly. Alright. I'll get down from this ladder somehow. Alright, I made it back down. So what do you think of the roof? Looks good. You guys did well done on the roof, but what should we do now? We can go to the Bunny Bistro to eat dinner, so- Oh, wait a minute, we forgot to paint the windows in the Bunny Bistro. We forgot all about that. Miller, calm down. We can sort this out tomorrow. But right now though, let's go eat dinner. Come on. Ellie, hurry up! Sorry Calvin, I'm getting tired from hopping. I think I should get some sleep when we go home. I know the feeling, but we can go to sleep when we finish dinner. We sure had been through one busy day. Anyway guys, what would you like to eat? Actually, the all of us can eat carrots because, well, why not? In that case, there will be carrots for everyone. Enjoy! Thank you! Huh? Where's Guy? I don't know. I thought he was supposed to be here. Exactly. Guy usually gets here at the cafeteria, but I don't know where he is. Actually, Guy just called me on the phone and he told me that he is away hanging out with a random woman. A random woman? Who could that random woman be? Heather Donnelly. Guy also said that he and Heather went on a date, also saying that- Hold on a minute. That's my daughter. I mean- how could she secretly manage to have a date with a cafeteria worker while I wasn't knowing? Richard, calm down. Heather probably did this because she got bored, that's all. I swear, if I catch my daughter kissing Guy, I'm gonna- Richard, will you please settle down already? You need to go home and you should better deal with more about this. Finally, Richard, what took you so long? Listen, there is no time to talk. We have to go. Go? Go where? What's going on? Look there is no enough time, alright? We have to go, now. Come on. Nice house. Is this where you live? Yes, exactly. My parents and I just moved here, but I was jealous about living in this town because I am not really getting used to this place. I know you're jealous, but you'll get used to it. Castlebush is just a peaceful town, and you are gonna enjoy living here. I understand, but living in Castlebush is a bit tricky for me, but I'm gonna overcome my jealousy about this place after all. Absolutely. 
Come on, let's go to the bedroom. We need to go to bed and then sleep so your parents won't find out about what we're doing. Good point. Come on, let's go. So, are you enjoying this? Yeah, I sure do. It's nice that we can get to spend time together, and I'm pretty sure my parents won't find out about it. Well, let's hope not. But one thing's for sure, it's only you and me, and no one can disturb us. Where is Heather? Where is she? Look Richard, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I mean, why do we have to search for- Luna, do you know exactly why we're searching for our daughter? She is in a relationship with someone and we need to find Heather, and you have to help me searching for her. Richard, can you please just calm down for goodness sake? Our daughter is fine but we don't even know what she is doing, so we have to find her before she tries to do something. In that case, go check the bathroom while I'll go check the bedroom. What the hell do you think you're two doing? Uh-oh. Dad, look. This isn't what it looks like. So why did you call me again? Marceline and I were just sleeping when you told me to go to the police department for something. Listen, we are in crisis. Angelo has escaped from prison. What? Again? How did that happen? Well, we have no idea, and there weren't any CCTV footages released about this yet. The prison guards only told me that Angelo discovered a shovel underneath the bed, then bludgeoning one of the guards with the shovel, and then digging his way out of prison. And has Angelo been sent back to his cell yet? Well, no. He ran away from the guards and we are concerned about what he is going to do. In fact, Angelo issued out a warning on his Facebook account where he said that Castlebush will be facing one of the biggest destructions a town will ever see. Why would Angelo issue out a warning like this? If Angelo thinks he can blow up Castlebush, he has another think coming. Finn, calm down. We have to do something to send Angelo back to jail again, but if we don't do that in time, it's too late. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning, you two. Ellie and I were just about to head to the bistro to eat breakfast. Exactly. But where's Calvin? No idea. I guess he's away chatting with Dennis or somebody else. Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. I was secretly painting the windows of the bistro while you were all still asleep. What? You were painting the windows while we were still sleeping? I mean, why did you do that? Look, I had to do it. I only painted the windows because this is what we promised. That's okay. At least you did a well done painting the windows, but we have to go to the bistro to eat breakfast. Good idea. Let's go. So, what do you think of the windows? Not bad. They look pretty good and, well, that's it. Nothing else to say about this. Alright guys, please take a seat so I can serve breakfast for you. Oh, hi Paul. What's up? Nothing much. Dennis and I are still refurbishing my house just to make it have colors and then have furniture. Yeah, but is the refurbishment finished yet? Not yet, but we're making progress though. Dennis and I have to place the furniture inside and then we're done. You can check out my house after we finished eating. Okay. Anyway guys, what would you like to eat? We want to eat some fish please. And I'll go for raw pork chop please. Coming right up. Where's Marceline? I don't know. I guess she's late again, or perhaps doing something else. I'm pretty sure Marceline and Finn are preparing themselves to go to work again. Exactly. Oh, there you are Marceline. We were just waiting for you to arrive so we can- Guys, we need to talk. It's very serious. Finn just told me that Angelo has escaped from prison. What? Oh god no 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 no. This is not good. The traitor. I knew he would escape from prison again. But how did he do that? Look, I don't know. The police did say something about Angelo's escape, but I can't explain it here. But to make matters worse, 
Angelo issued out a warning and he said that Castle Bush will be facing one of the biggest destructions the town will ever see. You mean Angelo will really blow up Castle Bush despite having no idea how he can do that in the first place? Well, I'll hope not. If Angelo really blows up the entire town, we are all dead. Will everybody please calm down? No matter what Angelo said about blowing up Castle Bush, that's not going to happen. Or will it? What the hell are you doing here? Listen. Don't you realize that you have tried to sabotage Angelo for a long time? Look you don't understand. Angelo has escaped from prison again and he is threatening to blow up the entire town. Absolutely. And you're all going to deserve what you are going to get for messing with Angelo. And you know what? You're all going to- Then no. I can't let you do this- Listen to me very carefully. You have all made a mistake for ruining Angelo's life, and you're all going to suffer the consequences for everything. Ben, please. Put the gun down. You are making a fool out of your- Shut up. Alright, you know what? I'm giving all of you one last chance, and if you don't cease and desist messing with Angelo, you're all dead. I'm getting out of here. Stop. Where is Bubblegum going? I don't know, but we can see Ben chasing after her. If he kills Bubblegum, we're doomed. Get back. Get back or I will shoot. You can't stop me. You can never win and you will lose. I mean it. Don't go near me. You are trying to ruin my life, so back off. The people who ruined Angelo's life your friends. Especially you, of course. And you're gonna regret this forever. <laughs>